All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahushai, love, honor, and respect always to the Creator, and double honors to Great Millstone. And we're on another lesson today. This is the, the book of Job, chapter 5, and verse 12. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans. So he upsets the plans of the cunning. And that's the Rothschilds, the elites who control two-thirds of this earth. What? Verse 13. He catches the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the cunning comes quickly upon them. And, and the traps of the, these wise men, the, the traps that these wise men, the Most High is going to set them up because he sees what they're doing in their own schemes and traps that they're putting on, on, on the earth through Wall Street, through all the evil, with the fiat money and everything, how they're bringing everything down. I just got to watch what I say because everything I, a lot of videos been put out. I mean, they shot a lot of my videos down, so I'm being real careful of what I'm, words that I'm coming out with because they just take them down. Go on. Verse 14. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope at noontime as in the night, but he saves the needy from the sword. Uh, the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, he saves the poor. Who's the poor? Jake, us, starting with the, the apostles, the prophets, and the servants who are pushing the word of, of this holy book on the four corners of the earth. We're the poor. We're the needy. And God's he's putting a shield. He has angels around us. He always protects us. No matter what. In the end, most of us will make it when the chariots come. But there are there, there will be brothers that get caught up and thrown in jail, thrown in prisons, concentration camps. That's gonna happen. But these wicked men, the most high is gonna disappoint their plans, their enterprise of what they want to do to the world. And you know, we're in that time right now where they're shutting everything down. And we're about, we're entering the time of Jacob's trouble. And that's going to be when Wall Street collapses. And they, and um, we're going into that one world government. And that's part of their schemes. That's part of their traps and their schemes. But the Most High is going to make, he's going to, he's, he's going to make them where they're not going to succeed their plans. Because that's what they want, a one world, but World War III, the most high, once Wall Street goes down, this world's going to be in chaos, and World War III will be in full effect, and Russia and Iran, that's that perfect balance that the most high, he's, that's that balance of two countries that are not going to be with this one world order. They're going to, they're going to be the ones that fight against America, Europe, and Israel, where the Amalek's, the fake Jews in Revelations 2 and 9, and Revelations 3 and 9. Go on. So, verse 15, he saves the needy from the sword, from their mouth of the mighty. He saves us from our oppression. It's from the mouth of the mighty, and from their hand, so the poor have hope, and injustice shuts her mouth. That's right. He gives hope to the poor and he will silence the wicked. These evil men that are bringing World War III upon us because they don't want just two-thirds of this earth. They want the whole world in their hands. They have that God complex where they want to rule over all the nations under the sun. They want to be like God where they track us and they control everything that we do. Go ahead jump to Revelations in chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. 
and that's Satan, and that's these elites who worship Satan on the left hand side. Because they meditate to Satan. And he has a short time. So this wrath is gonna come quickly. Because he sees the brothers out on the on the four corners of the earth pushing the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the true ancient name of God, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and his whole and his holy son, Yahweh Shai, who died for who? The tribes. He died for the twelve tribes of Israel, and he's coming back for us. So the elites, they see us. Everybody sees us through the internet. And then they see us on the streets. So the eyes, the all seeing eye, they know what's happening. They know what's going on. They know the holy book is true and it's coming. World War III, they know the chariots of God are coming to rescue us, to pick us up out of this wicked country you call America. I think I'm done on that one. Yeah, this is uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter 47, and verse 10. For you have trusted in your wickedness. You have said, no one sees me. Your wisdom and your knowledge have warped you. So the Most High, he's speaking to the Rothschilds and the elite families, the Edomites, and he's saying, um, you are sure of yourself in your evil and you thought that no one could see you but the most high he sees everything going and you have said in your heart i am and there is no one else besides me yeah your wisdom and knowledge has led you astray far away from this holy book because we're bringing out the poetry of yahweh of this holy book which is of the truth that this world is in wickedness go on uh, verse 11 therefore evil shall come upon you you shall not know from where it arises and trouble shall fall upon you you will not be able to put it off yeah. desolation shall come upon you suddenly that's right in the most high in, in uh, verse 11 he's saying that disaster will come upon America Europe and Israel and all the nations are the, under the sun because all the nations did wickedness to us but it's going to come quickly when World War III starts off. We're all, like I said, we're already in World War III. The proxy wars have been happening for years, but they're going to totally engage each other. When you actually turn on the TV and you see American Air Force fighting with the Russians and the Iranians, and then you know, the Chinese are going to jump in. I mean, it's just going to be the whole world's going to be engulfed in World War III. So God's saying disaster will come upon you. And then he said, none of your magic can stop it because America is into Satanism. And these people who rule over the nations of this world who control the Federal Reserve, they're into witchcraft. They're into magic. They're into spells of witchcraft to Satan. Go on. Yeah. Read 11 again. Therefore, evil shall come upon you. You shall not know from where it rises, and trouble shall fall upon you. You will not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon you suddenly, which you shall not know. That's right. And those are, that's the missiles, because uh, America will be engaged in nuclear warfare with Russia. That's happening. And Russia has 7,000 nuclear ICBMs. Continental missiles, and uh, God's saying, Your ruin will come upon you suddenly. It's going to be fast and, and ruthless when this war starts, and you see tens of thousands of our American troops be killed with these short range missiles. A lot of our ships are going to be hit, our Navy is going to be hit out there in the Mediterranean Sea, out there off of uh, the Persian Gulf. And uh, He said, this ruin, when this, when this, when it comes suddenly, he says, your ruin, you never dreamed of. Because that's how powerful this is going to happen. That's that dark and gloom, the dark days that are going to happen when, when you wake up during the day and it's, it's like nighttime. And that's when the missiles hitting 
the dirt and the dust and those dust particles go up into the sky, it's going to make the sun turn black. The moon's going to look like blood. It's just going to be gloomy. And that's when fear, there, there ain't going to be no more jobs. That's when everything stops. When World War III comes in, you're going to see panic. America in great crisis. Go on. This is verse 12. Stand now with your enchantments and the multitude of your sorceries in which you have labored from your youth. Perhaps you will be able to profit. Perhaps you will prevail. You are wearied in the multitude of your counsels. That's right. These, these elites, they've been practicing magic spells and charms since their youth throughout their whole life. Their children... It's like we raise our children on the right hand side to know this holy book. On the left hand side, these elites raise their children in all these magic spells and charms and astrology. Let now the astrologers and stargazers and the monthly prognogasters stand up and save you from these things that shall come upon you. Behold, they shall be as stubble the fire shall burn them, they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a coal to be warmed by, nor a fire to sit before. That's right, the Most High, that's uh, verse 14. Uh, the Most High is saying, there will be like bits of straw, and the Most High is going to light them up, and they're going to be on fire. Because when it comes down to it, the Most High is the only one that knows the future in this book. Everything you need to know in your past, present, and future is in this holy book. But these astrologers, they think they know what the future is going to hold. But in that day, they'll be just like straw. and They're going to be burned. Because the Most High, that's going to be the missiles that are going to be flying all over the four corners of the earth. Go on. Verse 15. Thus shall they be, with, be to you with whom you have labored, your merchants from your youth, they shall wander each one to his quarter. No one shall save you. Yeah, he's saying to all those astrologers that these elite, these elites, these Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and all these elite families, they consulted all these astrologers all their life. And the Most High is saying, they will all leave you and go their own way, and none will be left to save you. Because when this time, when World War III pops off, when, it, when it's in full effect, these astrologers that get paid money ain't going to mean nothing at that time. Nothing. Nothing's going to mean when the World War III starts, it's going to make, it's going to pale World War I and World War II. And all the wars from the beginning of time is not going to compare with what's happening now. And you're going to, and in this country, like I said, we're in the times of Noah, we're in the times of Lot, where everybody was thinking, it was a game. They, 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 everybody's having a good time. And their mind is totally gone. But the Most High has plans. He's gonna. He's angry every day with the wicked. This, this world is ending. We're in the end of this thing. And the, the new world, the world's never going to end. The new world is with us, starting with the apostles, the prophets, and the servants. But this world's ending, starting with these elites, the Federal Reserve, America, Europe, Israel, with those fake Amaleks that have defiled our holy land. The Most High is going to purge that land, and he's going to purge this land. This, and, and it's all over the, the holy book, and we're going to get into those scriptures.